gotta work this out. We gotta find a way. We gotta find a solution for our people to not live in fear or anger or hatred or violence or criminality. We need to find the way under God. God the infinite wisdom. God for the infinite Holy Spirit of joy and wisdom and love and beauty and faith and mercy and redemption. But we have to believe. We have to believe in the supernatural reality of God. It is possible. It's possibly possible. Let's try it. I'm gonna try it. If I can do this, I win. Here's another story about a man who had it tough. Born in school, educated parents full of love But that's not my strife, let me introduce a lesson I never took a wife, cause I need no stress And at the age of 15, I discovered weed You might think it's cool, to which I would agree But the weed became a gateway to other drugs you see The chemical compound sold by the evil creep They do what your brain and make you peculiar But one in particular is a health sent school leader A such a LSD is a mindfuck receiver From the quantum mind madness to an overachiever So many Thousands of evil voices in my head Whether in the streets or lying in my bed I'm always having thoughts since the shit on 95 The year I tasted hell and felt I'm no longer alive Parties between my walls of absolute agony Like acid in my brain, eroding me completely I suffered that day, I was poisoned by Leone And still shut the shut from hallucinations, no baloney I see things, feel things, hear things on the stone I'm a bridge between realities, a bridge to the zone Where I hear God, angels and devils on my throne The crown of life will me the only thing I own So living all alone at home is all I have to live for The decadence of evil ones forge a sort of real war Given the evil was experienced in the danger zone The thoughts of things set to my brain while I'm all alone God said a bit, but not much compared to demons But everything the demons said was lies without reasons The few things God said were so much better The hope filled continued said before my holy letter The light flash of luminance in my mind's in stereo The walk with God travels and I snap my toes so below My brain quite phenomenal the highs are very low These are the woes of a rupture mind and drugs But at least I'll never be a damn As the unrepentant thugs
Evidently and hysterically And I see my nation suffering With a cool new tune to get the party happening I keep us to the brakes and bring it to the max And if you think it sucks, I'll see you out the back I'm a mix of fine emotions, a mind of holy light I psychedelicize my wonders, I'm a little bit too bright I shine in the darkest hour, I rip it through my body And if I didn't smoke a spot, I'd be a lawful body Like G-Force, fighting soldiers of light Like G-Force, enjoying the night Like G-Force, hold on tight Like G-Force, I've got it all right Singing and the door is fully open My wings are fulfilling as I travel as possible I look for space time like the light of melee My rainbows are gay, the sun for celebrating The functions in my new ones as I bombard you with my audio Wondering if this will finally get on radio I add a little elements and don't ignore that this review There's nothing wrong with me compared to your Nike crew G-Force, flying soldiers of light Like G-Force, enjoying the night Like G-Force Hold on tight like G-Force I've got it all right Like G-Force Fighting soldiers of light Like G-Force Enjoying the night Like G-Force Hold on tight like G-Force I've got it all right
First, there was darkness. Then came the strangers. They were a race as old as time itself. Long ago, the great Flip made the world. He made all the stars, and the world lived among the stars. They had mastered the ultimate technology, the ability to alter physical reality. Cliff made all the animals and birds, and at first made them all the same. Now among the animals was Ella Ferra, the Prince of Rabbits. He had many friends, and they all ate grass together, and they all ate grass together, grass, 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 grass together. But after a time, the rabbits wandered everywhere, multiplied, and eating as they went. They called this ability chewing. Cliff said to Ella Ferrara, Prince Rabbit, if you cannot control your people, I shall find ways to control them. But Ella Ferrara would not listen and said to Cliff, My people are the strongest in the world. This angered Cliff, so he determined to get the better of Ella Ferrara. He gave a present to every animal and bird making each one different from the rest. When the fox came, and others like the dog, the cat, or the weasel, to each of them, Frith gave a fierce desire to hunt and slay the children of Ella Ferra. They were dying. Their civilization was in decline. And so they abandoned their world, seeking a cure for their own mortality. Then Ella Ferra knew that Frith was too clever for him, and he was frightened. He had never before seen that man in death. My friend, have you seen Ella Ferra? But I wish to give him a gift. No, I have not seen you. So Frith said, come out, and I will bless you instead. And I will bless you, and I will bless you, 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 you instead. No, I cannot. I am busy. The fox and weasel are coming. If you want to bless me, you have to bless my bottom. Very well. Be it so. And Elephrela's tail grew shiny white and flashed like a star. His lap legs grew long and powerful. He tore across the hill faster than any creature in the world. Their endless journey brought them to a small blue world in the farthest corner of the galaxy. Our world. Three billion human lives ended on August 29th, 1997. The survivors of the nuclear fire called the War Judgment Day. They lived only to face a new nightmare, the war against the machines. with a thousand enemies. Whenever they catch you, they will kill you. But first, they must catch you. Digger, listener, runner, prince with the swift horn, be cunning, full of tricks. And your people will never be destroyed.
I had been sitting on the acidic tag nuts of my anus for some days, when two profound scientific truths occurred to me. One, the close proximity of fecal matter caught in the lattice of hair between the valley of the buttocks must play havoc with the sensitive region of the sphincter due to its acidic properties, a scientific realisation which had begun to germinate the day I shat myself walking back from Trevor's. And two, how to save the world. The latter is the case in point by which this day we fancy our chuckles. You see, it occurred to me the problem is quite simple. We all need a new messiah. It's clear we needed a new messiah because people are all fighting over the other ones and we need a hero to save us from the wars of the messiahs. Yes, on the surface this sounds ludicrous, and it is, because reality is ludicrous. Take genitals, for instance. No man in their rightful understanding could say the nether regions of a person's aspects are a beauty winner. The male proboscis looks like a pink slug Nazi, and the lady's lower orifice appears like the demasking of Predator. A lady's upper ornaments, not so much. They reflect the golden mean in 3D form, but our lady's pockets a man's eleventh finger, totes revolting to look at and explore. Hence the legacy of jungle adventurers. Brave men who ignore their sexual desires and go hunting for tigers, giraffes and big bananas in the woods instead. No one has heard of the vaginal wallaboo tree, primarily because it doesn't exist, but if it did, it would be in a jungle. Which means it would be foreign. Is that racist? To call jungles foreign? No, because it's because we don't have jungles in the UK. It is a climate issue, not a racial one. Thus, Pissing through the undergrowth of suburbia, I was on the cusp of realising who the latest saviour of humanity should be. And it was quite clear. It should be me. After all, I have a degree in film and therefore know how to watch TV like a pro. Like a goddamn pro, I tell you. Listening to Lionel Blair as a child had been haunting, some might say damaging, but we endured. We survived Larry Grayson and we survived Bill Oddie. Time will tell if we will survive Alan Carr, but he's looking the most lethal yet. Come, Garibaldi, let us to the rumination chair. I ain't going with you, new star. Why not? Are you ugly? No, I'm an old man. Old like the walls of Jericho, but I gotta say this. Ease your plums into new adventure. Stroke gently the cat's pelt of destiny. What are you saying, Garibaldi? Your sciatica is playing up again? Nope. I'm saying if you want to save the world, you've got to ascertain the problem. The problem is I'm too fantastic, I know. Nope. The problem is you cannot see the problem. What is the problem? Exactly. You have to even ask me what the problem is because you don't know. How can you solve a problem you don't know about? But I'm nice. I want to help. Lots of people are nice. I want to help. But you've got to have something more than a cape, a car piece, and a ponchon for extreme care in the community. You've got to know what you're doing. No one can genuinely know that. Not entirely. Then fail you will, my friend. Like a 300 to 1 outsider at the Grand National for Messiahs, the odds were against me. I simply had to try to save the world, though. For if I did not try to salvage humanity using my methods, then what other methods would work? There was no time to garnish the pancake. I had solutions to find to problems I didn't understand, so I yelled at a roving historian. Yo, roving historian, pray tell me the problem. Well, the problem, my dear fellow, is how we can go with the burning of Alexandria Library. Who is to say the lost problem given this terrible historical moment? What are the secrets of the ancients have been forever mislaid thanks to Sparky and his magic fires? It was no good. Historians weren't all that useful when it came to saving the world, which was a present issue, cutting edge. One could look all day at the causal ramifications of Agincourt and still be a boring douche down the pub the same night. I had to find the problem in order to fix it. And the problem appeared to be the R word, the word that defines the essence of how we approach our belief system and that no one wants to discuss at any point in time with anybody else. The word that rhymes with very little beyond pigeon, which are usually known as the rats of the air. I settled to my fundamental wigwam of thoughts and imagined a world of problems so I could solve them. I saw many, and each one was easily solvable by the idea of not being a complete douchebag. But how do you teach all of humanity in 24 hours not to be a douche? Well, you get on national radio and spread the word. Every hippie knows money doesn't make you happy. Drugs do. 
and it's therefore with this in mind I thought I'd explore the world of hippies to learn something profound beyond that of what we had already learned. Hey you hippie, what's the problem? Dude, the problem is there is no problem. Far out, man, yeah? You gotta let it vibe flow, bro. You know, let it flow out of your shell cracker and up through your groin. I see. Do I need ointment for that? Nope, but I sometimes you saw a feet when I'm really high. The man was clearly deranged. All it was a cover for his genius ideology. An ideology I wanted to know, fall in love with, and understand. Yo, hippie, what time is love? All the time, bro. If we don't fully allow our vibes to swell in the vibe swell, dude, you can just kiss goodbye to Mother Earth's free dingle. Dingle? Dingle doodar. Right. Piercing on through the crumbs of broken biscuits, I decided to try a little solo Yahtzee to calm the post-hippie nerves. I had realized that if everyone did nothing, nothing would happen, therefore no problems would occur. The more I thought about this as a solution, the more it seemed ingenious. I would have to tell humanity immediately. That means I needed to get on national radio. I approached the head officer at the BBC, but he said they were busy and I was nothing but a gerbil of man looking for the last vain remnant of hope in a dying world. I took this with a pinch of salt, like any good takeaway. I thus took to the internet, MS-DOS Isley, that hive of villainy and scum by which to spread the word, spread the word like salvation over the scone of oppression. We would do nothing, and nothing would be done. Hurrah! Saving the world hadn't been as difficult as I feared, and I realised, looking back, it was just a question of focusing on the task at hand and getting on with the job. Everything was fine. No nukes had been deployed, most people were going to the doctors, and the show went on. Everyone was a winner, thanks to me and my monumental ways, thanks to me and my world guidance system. Set coordinates to Megatrill, Commander. I said, looking at Jameson's with a royal eye of approval. The world and 99% of the people in it were brill.
Pops and Harry gonna stop the door and pop the door Pop it as we launch in the rocket to stop the door and lock it Go and pop it, give me a start it Just hold me your body, we'll live inside a dark as a turn by your hand We'll let me in the socket So if you want to stop it, you're gonna have to fall through This is your fate, straight as X in the clock And 
Yeah. If you will wiggle, I'll 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 wiggle